You guys know how I stay in shape to fight crime all the time? I get this in every Saturday. Oh! Ah! I'll see you guys. John's going to tell you more about it. What do we got, John? All right, guys. So, we are starting off with warm-up. This is just one round. You just move through it, and then you warm at the end. We're starting with a 400-meter run. If you do not have access to somewhere to do a 400-meter run for this, doing it in your apartment or something, you can substitute the 400-meter run with 30 jumping jacks and 30 up-downs. So you do both of those. All right? After you do your 400-meter run or your jumping jacks and up-downs, you do one round of 10 walkouts, 15 burpees, 20 air squats, and then you do another round of your 400 meter run or 30 jumping jacks and 30 up downs. After we complete the warm up for our mobility, we're going to start with hamstring glides. So, for all of these, we're going to be doing 30 to 45 seconds of each. We're going to do 30 to 45 seconds of hamstring gliding, just alternating sides, followed by our lunge stretch on either side, our pigeon stretch on either side and then finishing with our squat stretch. After that, our wide is five rounds. Again, we're gonna be doing a 400 meter run at the beginning of each round, or if you don't have access to the run, the 30 jumping jacks and 30 up downs. After that, 20 dumbbell or kettlebell swings. We're gonna be going two-handed, holding, uh, if you have a dumbbell, the head of the dumbbell. And uh, if you have a kettlebell, just regular kettlebell swings. After 20 swings, 15 goblet squats, and then into your next round. So we have five rounds of that, four time. After that, we have a little core finisher here. This is three rounds with a 90 second break in between your rounds. 30 full crunches or jackknife sit-ups, 30 Russian twists, 20 hollow body rocks, and then a one minute plank. One minute's a little bit long, just a plank for as long as you can hold, whether that's 30 or 45 seconds, whatever you're able to manage, up to a minute. Okay, 90 second break, and then you do it again. So, we'll uh, take you over to the floor, we'll go through these uh, different movements, scaling options, and we'll go from there. Okay guys, so going through what we're going to be working on here, starting on our warm up, we're going to be doing a 400 meter run. Uh, if you don't have access to the 400 meter run, then we'll be substituting with 30 jumping jacks, feet and arms together, jumping nice and wide. After your 30 jumping jacks, then 30 up downs. So the up down is almost a burpee, just not going all the way to the floor. So we're just jumping out into that push up position, keeping that core tight, not letting those hips sag too much, and then jumping back uh, your feet forward and then big jump at the top. Um, after that, we're doing 10 walkouts. So just walking yourself out into a push up position, push up, then walk it back to tall, trying to keep those legs uh, through the whole movement or your legs straight through the whole movement. If you need to scale the push-up, we're just gonna go to the knees, do your push-up, back up onto the toes, and then walk yourself back into standing. After your walkouts, 15 burpees. Hands to the floor, chest to the floor, jump feet back, and then jump in tall at the top. All right, after our 15 burpees, 20 air squats. So it's driving those knees out, keeping the heels down. Good squats, all right? After that, we have one more round of 400 meter run, or 30 jumping jacks and 30 up downs. All right, after that, going into our mobility, 30 to 45 seconds of each of these, starting with our hamstring glide. So he's gonna step out, heel down, toe up, keeping that leg locked down, sweep down as low as you can, just alternating sides, 30 to 45 seconds. After that, we're gonna go into our lunge stretch. So knee down, driving that other knee out with the elbow, and then pushing your hips down towards the floor. All right, one side and then the other side. After we do our lunge stretch on either side, we're going to do our pigeon stretch on either side. So just crossing that leg in front of you, trying to get your chest down towards the floor and let that hips uh, go out to the side, just stretching out to the side of your hip there. Okay? Both sides. After that, we're going to finish with our squat stretch. So setting up in our squat stance, driving those knees out with the elbows, trying to let those hips sit down between your heels. Nice tall chest. Alright? After that, for our workout, this is five rounds, and we're starting with our 400 meter run or the 30 jumping jack, 30 up down uh, complex there. After that, we're going to do 20 
uh, dumbbell or kettlebell swings. So if you do have a dumbbell, you can just grab the head of the dumbbell with both hands today. We're going to go back between the legs and then up the, to around eye level or just above eye level. That's where we're going to be taking to, not all the way overhead. Okay. After our 20 swings, then we're going to get our dumbbell up from the goblet squat position and then we're going to do 15 goblet squats. So drive those knees out, try to get all the way down in those squats, keeping that dumbbell right in against your chest. After you do 15 squats, out for your next run, or uh, 30 jumping jacks and 30 up and downs. Okay, five rounds. After our five rounds, three rounds of our core here. So we're going to start with 30 reps of our full crunches. So that's bringing the body up and the legs up at the same time. If we need to scale this movement at all, we can just put those hands down just behind your hips and just have a little bit of assistance from the arms. After that, 30 Russian twists. This is unweighted, we're just going to be going side to side, keeping the feet up off the floor and just touching the floor on either side. If you need to scale, you guys can just keep your feet down as you lean back and just touch side to side. Yeah. All right, after that, 20 hollow body rocks. So this is all about keeping that low back flattened right out into the floor, not allowing it to arch. So his heels are just tapping the floor and his shoulder blades are up off the floor the whole time. If that's a little advanced and we need to scale it at all, we're going to be doing dead bucks. So again, the main goal is the same thing, keeping that low back flat on the floor, keeping the shoulder blades up. From there, we're going to reach out with one arm, one leg, so the opposite arm and opposite leg, and then the other side. So you reach out and then return before going out with the other side, okay? 20 reps of those instead. After that, a one minute plank. So we're going to be doing this from the elbows, on the toes, Keeping that core tight, and again, not letting those hips sag down, and we're going to hold this for about one minute. If you don't have a one minute plank, we'll just hold for as long as you can, whether that's 30 seconds, 45 seconds, whatever you're able to manage. After your round, 90 seconds rest, and then we go into our next round. That is uh, Super Fitness. Alright guys, that's your Saturday workout. Enjoy it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take Sunday off, have a good rest day, and we'll see you guys next week.